from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. A big afternoon as your $1,400 third stimulus check lands in the mailbox late today, nearly five to seven days late. And more checks are landing in mailboxes tomorrow. And on Saturday, certain banks will be paying that $1,400 third stimulus check early for wave four. Who are those banks? I'll have all the details as well across the t recording this afternoon as we analyze which wave we are and why there's another round of stimulus checks coming as well. New video from the White House as the Vice President speaks about stimulus. Another video from the President as he addresses the situation as well. And incredible great news as we go into an evening as a series of major developments have just unfolded. One, the $50,000 of student loan debt happening, potentially in a new executive order. Number two, an incredible push from Mitch McConnell that would absolutely set up reoccurring stimulus checks for you, ironically, as it backfires against him. Elsewhere, that push from Chuck Schumer is working. And is it the first of several pushes from Elizabeth Warren that could absolutely be happening? I have all the great news as I re go over what happened with Wall Street today. As the Dow and Nasdaq just closed amid a day of increasing improving economic numbers, but confusing numbers about unemployment. I have all these big details as Afternoons LA starts right now. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Afternoons LA. How you doing? It's a big day. Wall Street has just closed. And let me tell you where we are right now. The Dow closed with the, uh, the, the Dow just closed at 171 up for the day, less than 1%. NASDAQ ended up strong, up 2% at 233. This is amid a series of numbers that came out for economic news across the board. The S&P has climbed more than 1% over its 4,000 level for the first time ever. But the day started with unemployment numbers coming out. They were not good. The new jobless claims released earlier today showed a rise from the week before, higher than even what Wall Street is expecting. Those numbers were released before the day started. Then as the day unfolded, the new GDP numbers came out and those were actually quite promising. Those GDP numbers showed that we were increasing about 5% during Q1 of this year and that later this year we could see a 10% increase from the mer of the American economy. All incredible big news and I'm so excited you're joining me. How are you? It's Afternoons LA. What a day of big economic numbers. GDP improving, the economy growing, growth growing. There was also a big manufacturing number showed a lot of growth, but that unemployment number's not getting better, actually getting worse, and then the long-term unemployment number still poor. That shows that there's going to be a lot more stimulus, and I have that for stimulus news later in this video. If you've not subscribed, give a subscribe. It is birthday month on this channel, as this channel now approaches its one-year anniversary at the end of this month. That is April 25th, so if you've not given a subscribe, please do, because boy, I am here to dedicate to ensure you get your stimulus check, and I am the only one that's going to st stand firm here to ensure you get it to the very last moment. Also like this video, it really helps in the algorithm ranking. Let's try to two, 3,000 likes. And if you're on the live chat, say hi, how are you? Let me tell you where we are right now. $1,400 third stimulus check. We are currently between what's called wave two mail and wave three mail. Wave two mail's date was March 20. Six. I have hundreds of thousands of viewers of this channel. The largest of any group of this viewers of ship of this channel that have an, an IRS.gov tool of March 26 mail check, they are still not getting those mail checks. Some showed up today, thank goodness, 
and they've been showing up late all week long. If you have a March 26 mail check date, it's late. Don't worry. It's now running about five to seven days late. Second, if you are an April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, or 5th mail check, well, your check could be landing tomorrow. We don't know if those are coming early, late, or on time until tomorrow. But I'm going to go over in this video how you need to do three things every day. As one viewer said on the chat on the video earlier before today, check the mail, check the direct deposit, and check the IRS tool once per day. I'm going to explain to you in this video why. But first, let me go over to the huge breaking news. And the huge breaking news absolutely is less than 24 hours after that video surfaced. A new video posted by Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren yesterday urged the president to forgive again. This is the sixth time they've tried it. To forgive $50,000 of student loan debt by executive order. Remember, on the third was package, they got the law passed that said if student loan debt is eventually forgiven, you don't have to pay taxes on it. Remember, if debt is ever forgiven, you actually still have to pay taxes on the forgiven debt. So let's say you forgive $50,000 of debt and you are at a 20% tax bracket, you have to pay 20% of $50,000 in taxes. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Well, that got cleaned up under the third sums package. It's law, you don't have to pay taxes on it. But they still haven't gotten the $50,000 student loan debt forgiven. And they won it by executive order. And they released that video yesterday. Well, guess what happened minutes ago? Yes, the President of the United States announced that he has dispatched his education secretary to determine the legal validity of doing this by executive order and will have a determination in about two weeks. Let's watch the video yesterday that really caused this all to come to fruition. When he does that, he will close the racial wealth gap between blacks and whites who have student loan debt by 25 points, between Latinos and others by 25 points. There's not a single thing he could do on his own in one fell swoop to make that kind of difference. It would be historic. It will, and the three of us have been trying to persuade the president to do this, because he can do it, as was said, with a signing of a pen. We don't need legislation, boom, and your debt is forgiven and you breathe easy. But one of the arguments some of the people around him are saying is, how could we do this? They still have to pay taxes on it. No more. Not anymore. Can't make that argument. So that's a help within, as we try to push the White House to go further, to do what we think they, we sh they should do. This helps us. And again, and the breaking developing news this afternoon is that the president has now listened and after nearly six months of pushing, has agreed to finally have his team consider the legal validity of doing it. The other breaking developing news that unfolded yesterday was that Treasury announced that your first $10,200 of unemployment that you paid last year uh, taxes on if you filed your 2020 tax return. Great news. They are repaying it by a tax refund check in May. Meantime, new prep video from the White House from the vice president talking about the businesses across the country and how to adapt as they reopen. How Let's does listen it work? Um, and they need to hear from the people they trust. And again, that is you. And so that's why we are investing the bulk of our time in resources in this group of leaders and you um, who are the trusted leaders of America. Last week, we announced that we're investing nearly $10 billion in grants to community organizations, to health centers, and local governments to help build confidence and increase access to the vaccine. And with our community core, we will empower more leaders with more information to reach more people. So you kind of get the theme here. We need to do more, and we need your help to do it. Um, whether you run a faith-based organization, that's going door to door to schedule appointments, which so many of you have been doing, or a food assistance program that's making sure that folks have transportation to vaccination sites, or a community health center doing the beautiful, culturally competent work, the bilingual health outreach, speaking to people in the language they speak literally and culturally. And the basic message, of course, we all know, is, is pretty straightforward. The vaccine is safe, and it will save lives. 
Meantime, the president also also addressed the American people in a new video, which you'll see coming up in a second. But let me cut to that $1,400 third stimulus check and when it's landing. What's important to understand is that there have been not one, not two, but actually now several waves. And we got more waves coming up next week. We're currently between the finality of wave two and wave three. What's going on? Let me explain. Currently, at wave one and two, deposit checks landed. Now, after wave two, on March 26, there are hundreds of thousands of viewers of this channel that went to the irs.gov tool, saw a result, and didn't see a stimulus check. That March 26 mail check is coming late, I can report. It's coming very late. It is now upwards of seven days late, but it is landing. Viewers have reported seeing it land today. They saw it report and land yesterday. And it'll continue to land late. But that wave three check could also be landing tomorrow. This is what you need to know. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, if you're a Direct Express card holder, your stimulus check could land by mail, mail at any time. If you go to the irs.gov tool and it shows no results for your name and you are a Direct Express by Comerica card holder, you may actually be getting it by mail instead of on that Direct Express by Comerica card. Yes. So when would it be coming in the mail? At any time. You simply have no way to know if the tool is not working if you are in Wave 2, March 26, or Wave 3, April 2nd, April 3rd, April 4th, April 5th. But several banks could be posting the deposits as early as Saturday. Which banks are those? I'll be going over that in a second. But there's a lot of other big breaking news that happened today. And let me cut to what that other news is. $10,200 of unemployment assistance under the second, under the third stimulus package is now tax-free for a federal purpose, not for a state purpose. Nearly 13 states have said they're not going to honor it when talking about state taxes. But the federal government issued advisory yesterday that your first $10,200, if you already filed that 20 tax, 2020 tax return, will be refunded back to you as a tax refund. Yes, in May, if you already filed your 2020 tax return and declared taxes on that 2020 unemployment, don't worry because IRS is going to send you a tax refund. If you haven't sent your 2020 return in yet, don't worry because IRS is going to give advice about that in the next few days. Also making news, of course, is EIDL grant about to go live. That's $5,000. The president extended the PPP grant yesterday for another round by executive order. The also happening is the shuttered venue grant from SBA, which is about to go live. That is more than just actual venues, per se. Also going live soon is all the other big exciting details of third stimulus. And while people are waiting for that stimulus check to land, I'll be tracking it with you across the board. But as soon as it lands, then away we go into the big items of third stimulus. Let's go back to those waves. So what about next week. This is what you need to know. This Friday, wave four will be sent out. It'll be sent out for both mail and direct deposit. Then in 24 hours, the next day, Saturday, the tool will update itself. The tool will state who will be getting a check the next week by mail or by direct deposit. Of course, the tool may not have any information for viewers of this channel because sometimes it doesn't work. But if you don't appear in the tool currently, two things could happen to you next Saturday. You could still be not in the tool because the tool just doesn't work for you. Or you could suddenly appear in the tool on Saturday because suddenly your check actually did go out. And then when would the checks land? Coming up in a second, I'll explain what days you'll see those checks land and where you'll see them land. Will it be by direct deposit? Will it be by mail check? I have all those big details and more as Afternoons LA continues in just a second. Stay with me. I'll have all those big details, but first, here's a little bit about the community page and the help you can get right now. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. 
They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA. During that commercial break, did you see the excitement? Well, I'm going to tell you the excitement I saw. Wow, really great news. I told you. And the details I'm going to reveal to you right now. How are you? It's Afternoons LA. Having a good day? The toast is toasted? No. <laughs> uh, the heat is toasted. It is just a hot, hot day today. And across the board, there is just a lot happening. How are you? <laughs> During the commercial break, Sandy said, guess what? Uh, her friend's mail check from March 26 showed up today. Another viewer for that March 26 mail check showed up today. Great news. And then another viewer said, guess what? I just got an alert from my credit union bank that I have a pending deposit for April 7th. That's actually quite early. That's really interesting because we would presume that the penny deposits would not appear for a notification until this weekend. More about that in a second. But if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. Boy, it's a big day. A lot of things happen. Student loan debt forgiveness, if you're just joining me. The president's considering an, an executive order to forgive the $50,000 of student loan debt after being pushed by Elizabeth Warren and Leader Schumer since last year. Number two, $10,200 will be given to you as a tax refund if you pay taxes on any part of it and already filed your 2020 tax return. Additional breaking news is that, and yes, you're hearing it right now, is that, is that Mitch McConnell has said that every Republican will oppose the fourth stimulus package. And by doing that, that actually sets up reoccurring stimulus checks for you. More about that in a second. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Boy, you don't want to miss a single thing across the board. Also, like this video. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. This is what's happening. Those Wave 2 mail checks from March 24th, boy, they're coming late. And Sandy just said her friend just got his today, April 1st. I had other viewers earlier today said that wave two, March 26th, just showed up today. Imagine how late it is. It's seven days, but it came. Who cares? It's there. Then wave three will be landing today, tomorrow, all weekend long, and all start of next week. This is what you need to know. This is what Treasury is going to do on Friday. They're going to send out wave four. And then on Saturday, the tool is going to update itself. If the tool works for you, you're going to appear in there with where your check is going to be next week, either by mail or by direct deposit. Then on Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, these are the banks that will make the deposits available early. They are NetSpend, MetaBank, Cash App, Chime, also Green Emerald Card by H&R Block, and TurboTax. They release the funds early. So you could see the funds available this Saturday also, Monday, Tuesday. Also included in the list is Green Dot, which one viewer reported released the funds last Friday, almost four days early. Finally, next week, mail checks will be coming for that wave as well. Remember, if you're a direct express by Comerica card holder, you could get the stimulus check by mail, not by the card. It could come in this current wave, wave two, wave three, or also in wave four next week. 
Uh, yesterday, the president talked about the fourth stimulus package. And that fourth stimulus package did not resonate well with Mitch McConnell because now he says Republicans will not support it. Let's listen to what the president had to say. 100% of the nation's lead pipes and service lines. So every American, every child can turn on a faucet of a fountain and drink clean water. With each $5,000 investment, replacing a line that can mean up to $22,000 in health care costs saved. A chance to protect our children, help them learn and thrive. We can't delay. We can't delay another minute. It's long past due. You know, in America, where the early interest was in Internet, this thing called the Internet that we invented, Meantime, during that video, one viewer, Sherry, asked, I'm on SSI and SSDI. Is that true that my stimulus check is coming on April 7th? Is that true? The answer is you are not guaranteed for that stimulus check to come by direct deposit on April 7th. Let me explain what's going on. If you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Rural Benefits, stimulus checks were paid in wave one. They were paid to SSI and SSDI recipients in Wave 2 and in Wave 3 as well. So will more SSI and SSDI recipients get in Wave 4? Absolutely. Could they get in Wave 5? Yes. But where? They could come either in the mail or by direct deposit. Wave 4 is not one group and it's not one location. Along the way, in the last few days, someone has run this false narrative that Wave 4 is just one group and one location. It's not true. Treasuries make clear that people who had not gotten stimulus checks before, those checks are in the mail. So your check could be in the mail from wave two and land tomorrow or Saturday or Monday. But what I want you to do is the following. Every day I want you to check the mail. Every day I want you to check the direct deposit. And every day I want you to check the irs.gov tool. This is what you need to know. If you don't bank at those smaller banks I listed earlier, guess what? Direct Express by Comerica and all the big banks only make deposits available on Wednesdays. So if you were to get a deposit, it would be on a Wednesday. But if you got a check in the mail, it could be any day. If you have any of those type of banks as your direct deposit account, you could still get the check in the mail. Elsewhere, there was a lot of confusion across the board for economic issues today. And among the economic issues at, ish, at, at question is the four stimulus package. <laughs> the four stimulus package has yet to been reduced to bill form. And while we've already detailed what's in that bill, transportation, water, elderly, disabled, uh, electrical grids, manufacturing, there's no mention of a stimulus check. So what does that mean? Don't worry, because what happened today? What happened today was the following. Mitch McConnell did exactly what you thought he was going to do. He came out and said, all Republicans are going to oppose this bill. Wow, this is really great news for you. Do you know why? Because now it forces the bill to go by reconciliation, like the third stimulus package. And guess what happens then? When it lands in the Senate, those 20 or 50 senators who wrote the president letter this week, they're all Democrats, said when the bill lands in the Senate, we're going to amend it like we amended the last one, and we're going to put in there monthly stimulus checks. This is huge. If you're on SSI and SCI, this is more than $2,400. If, you uh, if you are on unemployment last year, this is more than FPC retro. And if you're a central worker, this is more than hazard pay. This is an enormous amount of money. And boy, there is no money that this is smaller to. This is the biggest sum of money you could see. Viewers have asked me today, do I think it's going to happen? Absolutely it's going to happen. The only question is what day it would start and what day it would end. Well, they're generally talking about the end of this year, and they're generally talking about $1,400 to $2,000 per month. This is all of you. This is all of you that have been watching for this third stimulus check to land. And it's not a pie in the sky, because this time, 20 of 50 Democrats, when the president has to have 50 of 50, have come forward and say, guess what? We're going to make the amendment and put it in there. Wow. 
Now, what's important to understand, if I didn't make it clear enough earlier today, is that of these 20 Democrats, they're very tightly aligned. Whatever has been unfolding over the last few days, they have been always doing things together, saying things together, and pushing for things together. And ultimately, this is big news because when the president has to debut the bill, they're going to push back and demand those items. And away we go into the weekend. What should you expect about your stimulus check over the weekend? These are the people who will not get a stimulus check. If you have a payee for your benefits, you're not getting the stimulus check. They're getting the stimulus check. If you are dependent on someone else's tax return, you're not getting the stimulus check. They're getting the stimulus check. If you are a member of a household and there's more than four people in the household, one of the people's not getting a stimulus check because there's a four-person limit on the household. And who else is not getting a stimulus check? Well, that's about it. You're getting a stimulus check. It'll either come in the mail or come by direct deposit. And if you go to that IRS tool and it don't work, don't worry, because for a lot of people, it don't work. It just never works. And while it may have no results for you, if it tries to work this time, it would update it on Saturday. Friday is when the next wave of checks go out for the following week. And Saturday is when they're going to update the tool. So across the board, that's what's going to happen. Meantime, new video from the White House talking about how he's going to deal with the economy as he moves forward. Let's listen in to this new video from the White House late this afternoon. Form this historic cabinet. This is a historic cabinet. This is the first uh, in American history to cabinet that looks like America. <laughs> That's what we promised we we're going to do, and, it's, and we've done it. And I'm grateful that the Senate acted in a bipartisan way at a modern record speed to get the cabinet confirmed. It's hard to believe, but we're among the quickest formed of all cabinet members being, uh, being uh, put in place. We have a lot to discuss. But while the press is here, I want to make an, one announcement. Yesterday in, uh, in Pittsburgh, I laid out my vision for rebuilding America and the America with the America's Jobs Program. And while most of the Cabinet will have a role in helping shape and press the jobs plan, today I'm announcing that I'm asking five Cabinet members to take special responsibility to explain the plan to the American public Working with my team here in the White House, these Cabinet members will represent me in dealing with Congress, engage the public, and... And during that video, some viewers dropped some wonderful questions as well. Let me answer those questions right now. One viewer said, what if I don't have that March 26th check by the end of today, April 2nd? Could I still get it? Absolutely. That March 26th check is just very late, and it's still coming. And it could come all throughout the weekend. It could come next week. So don't worry. It's just very late. Another person, Michael, dropped in the comments, if that stimulus check is in the mail and you owe some bills, they're going to take your stimulus check. That's just not true. <laughs> If you own a bill, if you owe a bill for a phone company for a cell phone you didn't like five years ago and you never paid it and you get a bill every month for them saying pay thirty dollars, they have no right to take your check and they can't take your check. That's not how it works in life. But thank you for those great questions and comments. Away we a wave we go. <laughs> Wave we go. We are in wave two, heading to wave three. And do not worry. I love that question for that one viewer. Do not worry. If you hear me talking about wave four in just a few days from now, and you look at this chart and say, wait a second, I'm wave two and I haven't got my check. Should I worry? No. Wave two mail checks are late. Wave three checks are due starting tomorrow. We're going to see if they come on time or not. And then we head into wave four. Do not worry if, as we head into wave four, if there are unpaid checks you are owed from a prior wave. They're just still coming. And remember, the IRS tool will update itself on Saturday and we'll have all those details as well. But also, where else you can see new details? With me, because I'm going to be jumping into the live chat and answering your incredible questions in one more video as Afternoons LA continues in just three minutes from now. That final video before we go into Evenings LA late is coming up in just three minutes from now. So if you have questions about anything, whether it's Comerca by Direct Express, or you have questions about a pending alert deposit, or you have a question about the student loan debt forgiveness that just happened, the $10,200 of unemployment, I'm here to help you. 
And that's the way we do it on this channel. It's a big day for confusing economic news, and I'll be answering those questions as well. As we go into the final minutes of Afternoons LA, join me as we rejoin in just three minutes from now. I'll be in that live chat, so I look forward to seeing with you. Stay informed, stay focused, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video. It's birthday month. This channel reaches its one-year anniversary at the end of this month, so give a birthday subscription. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused. And stay with Ally for more.